This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Finding a fugitive in a rural area is tough enough. It's even harder when you don't know which look he's going for. Dark bushy hair and a beard, dark and close cut or long blonde hair. Despite the looks, police finally have Joshua Ferguson in custody, ending a 22-day manhunt that started on August 7th. Joshua was found and arrested at his father's house, and his family tells Fox 47 News that they aren't surprised that he ended up there. That's really his only family and that he's close with, said his cousin, Kyla Ferguson. Detective Lieutenant Thomas DeClerc told Fox 47 News that it was through several tips and surveillance of Richard Ferguson's household that led to Joshua's arrest just before 5 a.m. on Thursday. Joshua was spotted at the house on around 11 p.m. on Wednesday night with his new look, finally putting an end to the 22-day manhunt. DeClerc said that Joshua was found in a bedroom armed with a pistol. There are 32 days now until a state budget has to be passed by the government or it will shut down. Governor Gretchen Whitmer introduced her $2.5 billion budget plan six months ago. She says that Republicans are standing in the way. Part of her plan increased funding for schools. Fox 47 caught up with her on Thursday during her stop at Jackson High School. She met with the superintendent of Jackson Public Schools, Jeff Beal, and Whitmer proposed a $1.2 million funding increase for that district in her budget. Whitmer also talked to students in an advanced placement U.S. history class. A man from Holt has been arrested and charged after child sexually abusive material was allegedly found on his computer. Eric Reed faces one count of child sexually abusive activity and two counts of using a computer to commit a crime and three counts of possession of child sexually abusive material, according to a press release. The investigation began from a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children cyber tip. If convicted, Reed could spend up to 20 years behind bars. Thursday was a big day for the newly appointed Lansing Police Chief Daryl Green. He was sworn in as the new police chief at the Boys and Girls Club of Lansing on Pleasant Grove Road. He was joined by Mayor Andy Shore, City Clerk Chris Swope, and the Lansing Board of Police Commissioners Chair Drew Macon. The chief says that continuing to make his staff better, officers and people, is one of his priorities. I'm really inspired by the fact that we have strong relationships with the community. We're strengthening them, and that's one of my mandatory protocols, is that we continue to motivate our community. We continue to motivate our officers to do better, to be better, and we really want to be the best police department in the country, Chief Green said. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.